In this next module, we're going to be talking about debugging, how to find errors in your pro program that might be their syntax or logical errors with how you've written the program, and be able to resolve those and move on. So for example, if you try to add an integer to a string, you're going to get an error. And so we want to look at some of the error messages and be able to quickly determine what is the problem with that and how to fix it and move on. So part of the reason why we cover debugging early on is that uh, typically a majority of your time is going to be spent fixing problems, whereas a very small percentage of your time is going to be writing the initial program. And so there's some steps you can go through that are going to really help you with uh, writing code well the first time. And then also once you are in the process of going through and trying to find these bugs, uh, there's some strategies for doing that. Again, here is the link that you can use for getting the files for this course. So I'll just open that up again. I've already downloaded them and put them on my uh, desktop, but you can do that again if you need to. All right, so we're going to be talking about debugging, um, and uh, there are some steps for more effective programming. Uh, the first one that I'd recommend is start with an understanding of the big picture. So this might seem like a very simple thing, but when you're going over the whole thing, you find lots of gaps and you want to do whatever suits you best. We'll uh, leave it up to you for the project with the egg incubator would be to understand what you actually need to do to help an egg hatch. Okay, and what are the steps of the program? you're going to go through. So that's the second one right there. High level instructions. They often call that pseudocode where you write out at a very high level uh, what you need to do for each section of your code. Breaking it down into very specific tasks and uh, you can do this without even an understanding of the basics of your programming language but once you learn the basics, you can translate these high-level instructions into code. And it also helps you understand what's going to be difficult or easy uh, in, in a program like this. All right, so number three, program the specific tasks and connect them together. So now you're taking your pseudocode and now working on the individual pieces of that. And you want to uh, try to make uh, each of these break this very complex and large project down into these simple steps. So for the incubator that we're going to be designing, the temperature controller, this might be programming something specific like how high of a value the heater should be on based on a low temperature reading. Okay. Uh, and then the fourth one, after you've done all of this, is to test and fix your problems. So this is basically what we call debugging, but you don't want to do the whole project and then go through and run it for the first time and, and find your problems with the code. You want to try to uh, break it down into much simpler, easier uh, to comprehend pieces that you can test and, and work all of the bugs out of those simple ones first. All right, so uh, following these is going to help you uh, greatly. It's going to take less time, even though it feels like, uh, you know, all of this might be unnecessary, you know, trying to get the big picture, high-level instructions. You're not writing code in those, but I can say for many different software projects, that those things are going to save you a lot of time. All right, so in this activity now, we're going to go down through and um, just try to find the errors in, in this code. So I'm going to open up Jupyter Notebook. I'm just running this here just so we can look at it. Uh, but let me go ahead and open up Jupyter Notebook, and then we'll open up the, um, this specific module that we're working on. Okay, so this is going to be debugging, and it's IPYMB, that's IPython notebook file. And here we have it. I'm going to come down here to this first one. Okay, and then if I just do Control Enter, I'm going to try to run it, but it's going to give me an error. And this one is an example of a, a syntax error. These are generally the easiest ones to find 
because it uh, typically points to the exact line where the problem is, and you can look at it and try to figure out uh, what is uh, what is the problem with this. Okay, so the hint here is look for a missing uh, end of string character. All right, so I'm just going to add uh, this at the end. Okay, this is a program to hatch an egg. All right, and so we fixed that. Just added the ending, uh, ending parenthesis there, or uh, ending uh, quote mark. Okay, and we can also do double quotes instead. It'll give us the same thing. So, for example, if you have a single quote, uh, uh, hatch a chicken's egg. Okay, we don't want to begin and end with that single quote uh, because it's going to think that it's the end of it. So we could still print out the single quote, or in this case, the possessive for chickens, if we just use the double quote. All right, so we resolve that uh, that error. So uh, let's go ahead and run this next one. Okay, it says invalid syntax here and it makes a little pointer to where it thinks the error is. So it says invalid syntax, and it points to it. It says there's something wrong with this right here. Uh, and the hint here that I, uh, that I made uh, is that variable names cannot have spaces, but they can have underscores. Okay, so there we go. We have target temperature, uh, and then we can print uh, target temperature. Okay, and that'll print out 37. All right, let's run this next one, which is just a little bit more complicated, but let's just see if we can look at the error. And one of the things you'll notice is that uh, sometimes the error messages, they, they have a lot of additional information in here. So for example, you might look at this and say, you know, what is happening with this? I, I don't know what this error is saying, this 8-0318. You know, it's, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, what I'd recommend whenever you have an error is just go down to the very bottom. Okay, start down at the very bottom and read this message right here. And then it's going to try to point you to where the error is. So it says it's on line here and the print difference plus degree C um, and uh, the the hint that I gave uh, okay you wouldn't necessarily have this in your code if you were writing this yourself uh, is to use the uh, string convert difference to a string so you can add these together uh, because I can't add a number and a string together we'll cover that more in a later lesson I'm just going to make that a string, and then that says that the difference is 7 degrees Celsius. The other way I could have done this, there's multiple ways to resolve this, uh, is just separate them by a comma instead of a plus sign. So instead of adding them together, I could say uh, print out this value and then print out that value. And then it was able to print it out right here. So all of these have been syntax errors. We're going to get into um, you know, errors that are more about the incorrect. It, everything's going to run appropriately, but it's not going to do what we intentionally designed it to do. And those are going to be more of the logical errors of your program. Some error that isn't giving the right results, but the, the compiler, the the program, uh, the Python interpreter is not going to be able to point to where that error is. And so we're going to use things like print statements along the way. We can also use um, you know, other things to help us debug the program and look at these intermediary results. All right, so that's a little bit on debugging and also on just good programming practice on how to start uh, with the big picture. Uh, you can outline your code, program the specific tasks, and then test and fix the problems.